class equals class ut game dot ut player replication info underscore splicer and um, so we can save that however unfortunately it's a little more complicated than this so we're going to go back out to our main UDK uh, file UDK game config we've been here yet again we're going to find UDK game dot ini now we're going to open this up this is a very big file so what we're going to do is we're going to use the find feature so if you go uh, select the top if you go control F find what we want to find deathmatch so if you click um, next we don't want that one we don't want that one we don't want that one either not that one that's the one we want we want UT deathmatch UT UI data provider game mode info so if we copy this paragraph here we're going to scroll down to the bottom and above the any version we're going to paste that in we're going to change this to UT deathmatch howl game mode UT deathmatch howl settings we can leave we can leave everything else there as default so scroll back up to the top of the document if you go control F for find again we're going to uh, I'm gonna say, no sorry getting confused here so that's that for that document and we're going to close this so if you go back into UDK game and you go localization international utgame.int this is the one we want so we're just going to use notepads to open this up now in here we want to go control find deathmatch and we want to scroll down keep going until you get to the uh, the deathmatch entry that's under this uh, UT3 game mode we want to copy this we want to scroll to the bottom of the document yet again we want to paste this in and change this UT deathmatch uh, howl friendly name this is the name that it will appear as so we're going to rename this howls death deathmatch description we can leave blank as well um so the next thing we also have to do at back at the top of the document we find deathmatch so the first entry will be uh, this team deathmatch one and we actually want the one under this so UT deathmatch and we're going to copy this paragraph we're going to scroll to the bottom again we're going to paste this actually above the one that we've just done we're going to rename this again UT Deathmatch Howl. We can leave the um, description. We can uh, change the game name to Howl Deathmatch. And um, that's actually it. That should be it. So we're going to save this. Oh, 
You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change the uh, read only on that. So, change it to uh, not be read only. Save it. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to open up the editor. It's going to ask us to rebuild scripts. We're going to say yes. And uh, fantastically, it's come up with an error. Right, okay, guys. Um, <coughs> so I've managed to fix the error that we had. Uh, it's a bit weird. I think I know what went wrong. Um, so under UT Player Controller underscore Splicer, if we open that back up. So, uh, you have class UT Player Controller underscore Splicer extends UT Player Controller. Now, what we've done, we've added a semicolon to that. I think if you get rid of that, that should be fine. Um, I've just rebuilt it and it works. Uh, so, make sure your code looks exactly like this. Uh, obviously, though file name might be slightly different but if if your code looks exactly like this it should hopefully work there's a bit of a weird error there so uh, if we go to editor so you'll go to editor I think yep scripts are outdated so you rebuild it There you are, so that's successful. So we're going to open the game up now. So under UDK game. And um, hopefully, if we haven't missed anything out, we should have the player character. So first off, you're going to have to go game. Out. There you are, you see your... Uh, game mode down there so settings start the game quickly 